How's it going? Uh, we're going to talk about the abandoned uh, life here in the middle of the island. Some uh, updates on some crime stories uh, that we've got to talk about here. Uh, and again, this is what it is in the middle of the island. We are a wasteland. Nobody has reported on the, I mean, nobody has reported on, I know this picture is a beautiful wasteland, but uh, nobody has reported on uh, the shooting in New White Park still. Uh, no, nothing from the media at all. The TV media has completely ignored uh, this. And uh, the only person that really seems to report on this is Laura Uli. And uh, we're going to get to that in a moment. Uh, but yeah, it does feel like we are just completely abandoned and left to fend for ourselves in the middle of the island uh, and just completely forgotten. Uh, and uh, now you know the deal with this. Uh, we have, uh, she actually has the statement from the NCPD. So this is what I want to read to you. Uh, because it's a little more detailed than uh, what was given on the uh, what was given on the um, on the um, on the articles. So this is a statement from the Nassau County Police Department. All right, shooting occurred on Tuesday, August third, twenty twenty one, at eleven twenty p.m. in New White Park, and it could be gang related. So it's saying, according to gang investigation squad detectives, a party was being held in the vicinity of 50 Nassau Terminal Road when multiple subjects began to beat a 23-year-old victim severely. A 19-year-old female victim attempted to stop the, fi uh, stop the fight when two of the subjects took out pistols and pointed them at her while another su subject hit her over the head with a glass bottle. The subjects fired multiple shots into the large crowd and struck a 38-year-old male victim in the leg before fleeing the scene in multiple vehicles. Upon officer arrival, the male victim, who was physically beaten, was already transferred to by a private uh, vehicle to a nearby hospital and is in stable condition. And the other male victim that was shot uh, was transported. And we, we know this, but there's a few more details here that were left out. So six people were taken into custody and a gun was recovered from the 2017 Jeep. They were apprehended by the vicinity of Cherry Lane parking lot by UFC and McDonald's, also known as the Denton House. And here's the details that they left out in the other article. Most of these people are not even from Long Island. Five are from Brooklyn and one is from Staten Island. So what are they doing here? Uh, the problem, and, and I don't know if this is a picture uh, from that night or another night. All right. So uh, I want to go over the comments here because uh, uh, some of these comments uh, are actually quite interesting. Uh, and uh, um, and this is this is the person that said that made a post about this. The address is Send in the Clowns, which holds private events across the street from McDonald's down the block. Besides Laura, there is no news outlet. She's calling it News 12. The patch did wind up reporting on it. That is reported on it. I'd like to know why there's a hush hush. So she's, she is bringing up this, the, the fact that the crime problems are getting ignored. So somebody replied here, this is New White Park, Garden City Park. The only thing I can think of is that it's supposed to be a good area and there are more pressing news and other areas that they don't want to ruin this area's reputation. Now that you know the, that undesirables are pottering there, you need to call the police when something doesn't look right. So they're trying to cover it up because, yeah, this area was viewed as a good area for a very long time. They don't want you to know that it's being redlined. All right? Uh, and this is another thing that never made the news. This woman's 14-year-old daughter had a gun pulled on her in broad daylight by a car full of young men down the block from her high school when she was walking home. This is New White Park. She went to, straight to the cops. They have surveillance of the incident. Make and model along with the details of the said car, and they have done nothing. Their car has been broken into, Call the cops, all of it on. So New White Park is becoming very dangerous. All right? So uh, my daughters were also there at uh, the same time place with the men who pulled out a gun from. So somebody pulled out a gun by it. You'd think... I wish more attention would be brought to these matters. And more, I can't even find the latest incident on the local news. So this is what's going on. These people are talking about it. Uh, and, you know, this is what's going on. This is what's going on. New White Park is being redlined. It's being ruined, and they're dumping the problems. And people are not happy about it. People are catching on. There's a link to a video here. which also, So there's a lot of discussion here, and I don't normally re review comments. But uh, I felt I need to, be, I needed to, because uh, they're, you know, they're really telling us to what's going on in New Hyde Park right now, uh, and it's very disturbing. Uh, and you know, it's happening in Mineola too. I see it with my own eyes. I see what's coming here. All right. And then there's been a whole bunch of other crimes, shootings in the city. Uh, two, two people shot on Jamaica Avenue. Uh, one 
was a bystander inside a Q8 bus. Somebody who shot on a Q8 bus. So Jamaica, Jackson Heights, uh, it's all it's all being redlined. And then there's another crime here that didn't make the news either. All right, th- this is the thing that News 12 reported on uh, that in Flora Park, vandalism to a Sikh temple, all right? But then there was something else that happened here. A man was robbed walking in Franklin Square. And this never made the news either. The NCPD reported a male was robbed in Franklin Square in Nassau County Saturday around 10 p.m., Franklin Avenue and Sherher Boulevard. Uh, again, an area that I passed through on the bus. A 40-year-old, 41-year-old man, man was hit in the head by three suspects from behind and took off with items. So a lot of these guys are, are, are really just, you know, a lot of them are invading from the city. And it's all just part of the plan here to, uh, you know, redline this whole area here. Just, you know, Jamaica all the way out. Well, and especially this, I'm going to focus on this corridor right here. All right. This corridor right here, the main line corridor. All right. This is where it's the real heart of the red line is occurring. Hicksville, Westbury, Carl Place, Mineola, Garden City Park, New White Park, Flora Park are all being turned into ghettos. That is what's happening. All the problems are coming out here from Jamaica. Either they're traveling out here to party or they're just being moved out here. Uh, some of them homeless, uh, all into uh, this part of the, of the island. Right? That's what's going on. That's, that's, that's the redlining going on. So let me show you where this happened. All right? Because I, for, I forgot to show you actually where this happened. Nassau Terminal Road. So it's, this, it's actually a, quite an, kind of an industrial area. So let's show you what it looks like. All right. And you can see it's it's a it's kind of a, you go off Jericho Turnpike and this is a very industrial area. Can you say industrial wasteland? There you go, very industrial. Uh, uh, and I'm not sure exactly the building is 50 Nassau Terminal Road, but this is the area. So it's really kind of an area where co- hoodlums can kind of hang out, so see at night. Uh, you can see the road is full of potholes and is in very bad condition. Uh, look at all the look at all the overgrown weeds. This is what I mean by ghetto. If you don't think this is a ghetto, uh, I don't know what to tell you. Uh, but this is New White Park. So this is what they're doing here. And look at that. Available. Um, this is, again, industrial wasteland. That's what this is becoming, an industrial wasteland. So I think we're past 50 Nassau Terminal Road. I think we're kind of kind of toward the end here. Uh, but this is the area, all right? Yes, I know it's always been industrial, but a lot of these places are closing up, all right? And build, places are getting abandoned. And people are partying here and having illegal parties and, and whatnot. There's another abandoned uh, building there. So this is what I mean with the middle of the island. Uh, it is just getting worse and worse and worse. Uh, so and this is this is again where 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 it happened here. Another lot full of beat up cars. This is not a good sign. Yeah, you have that beautiful McDonald's there, uh, and that was back when this was all put up when. When New White Park was considered to be a very nice, almost upper middle class area. But now it's becoming a ghetto. That's what's happening. Yeah, ghetto. That's right. A place where people get shot and where there are overgrown weeds and fights. That's a ghetto. All right? That's what a ghetto is. All right? If it's not a safe area, then it's a ghetto. All right? And that's what's happening. And then the other one, that other crime we read to you, Franklin Avenue at... Sherer Boulevard. So let's uh, look for that. Franklin Avenue, Sherer Boulevard, because that's uh, the bus goes down that way. So let's see. Franklin Avenue at Sherer Boulevard. Um, let's see if we can find Sherer Boulevard here. Yeah, right here. There you go. So this is where it happened. Right here. Walking right around here. Yep. It's not safe here. The middle of the island is not a safe place to be right now. All right. It's getting worse, and those who say, oh, the city has it worse. Yes, but it's getting worse by the day here. All the riffraff is coming out here and causing all kinds of problems, yet it gets ignored. It gets ignored. News 12, look at what they're talking about. This is their lead story. Again, lack of school guidance over them. It's a pandemic. They're living in their own freaking world down there. Well, we're dealing with this, this problem. Look at this. There's no crime. Where is the crime? There is no crime here. There is no crime. They don't cover crime. 
They have failed their duty, and it's not just new, it's all the media because it's all part of the bigger plan that the middle of the island is being redlined. The middle of the island, particularly the mainline corridor, is being redlined. And then they were at it again with the sharks today. All right? I mean, it's ridiculous. It really is ridiculous here. You know, there are sharks in the ocean. It's, it's so obvious who they're gearing to. And again, the people they're gearing to don't have to deal with this crime. They're enjoying their lives on the South Shore, having the time of their lives on the South Shore, having a great time, enjoying life, uh, while uh, we are dealing with homelessness. We're dealing with abandoned properties that homeless people happen to live in front of. Um, you know, and we're dealing with this too. This is what's going on in my neighborhood right now. Beat up cars. Look at this car. This mismatched panels. When you see this, and this is what I saw in Westbury, I dealt with the same thing. My neighborhood is turning into Westbury. Uh, the guys hanging around, no life. I, I feel like it's, it's Westbury all over again, except I have better transportation. That's the only redeeming factor right now. All right, because I'm, I'm expecting any day now for something bad to happen in Mineola. Uh, a shooting, a stabbing, or something is going to happen. And it's going to start getting to the point where I am going to have to move and I am going to have to fight to live on the South Shore. And again, I don't care what these people say. I have a right to live somewhere safe on Long Island. All right? Uh, but meanwhile, the middle of the island, we are just completely forgotten. We are a wasteland to everybody. We don't matter. We don't count. Uh, and I'm going to continue to speak up about it, even if it means that uh, I, I, I'm going to get bullied and intimidated and harassed and, and all this other stuff because this, for me, is a matter of survival, all right? Uh, I know it's saving the middle of the island is going to be hard. I just want to bring awareness to it. I don't think I could change it, but at least I need to bring awareness to it so people realize what's going on and maybe enough people will realize what's going on to say, hey, we see what's going on. We're aware of it. We are not a dumping ground. We are not a wasteland. We are going to stand up. And if you, the elected officials in our government, will not keep us safe, then we will elect somebody else who will keep us safe. Um, uh, otherwise, if they don't, then middle of the island becomes a wasteland, and I have to fight to live on the South Shore. And that is exactly what I'm going to do, all right? Because I do deserve to live on the South Shore. I don't want to hear from what you, what you snobs have to say, oh, well, this is for our kind only. Your kind isn't welcome here. This is the United States of America. Segregation is illegal. I have every legal right to live in those communities, and I will fight and use every single right I have and make sure that I exhaust every single resource if it comes down to it uh, so I can live there. If that's what it comes down to, then that is what I'm going to do. And if you want to battle snobs, then you have one. All right? Uh, and th that, that is all I have to say. And again, I know not everybody's snob. All right? Look, again, you make money, you work on Wall Street, you dress in finance clo uh, in upscale clothes, that's fine. All right? But once you use that and start saying, well, I'm better than you, therefore you're not allowed to live in my town, there's where I get mad. All right? So uh, that is going to be it for this video. Thank you for watching and take care.